So now that the input field is working well, the next thing which we need to do is that we need to make this add button functional. So whenever we click on this particular add button, we technically want to save this particular input field or the value which is entered inside the input field into some sort of a state. So in order to make that particular thing functional, what we will do is that we will actually go ahead and create another array which is going to be called as a to-do list. So currently we have this to do and this to do is for single to do item and we actually wish to create similar such state for holding a to do array or a to do list. So let's create another state here. So I would say const and let's say I name this thing as to do list and I will name the method as search to do list. So this is going to be use state and now here as this to do list is not a simple string instead as it actually is an array i have to pass in an empty array right here so that means this to do list which we have here becomes an array and in that particular array we could save this particular to do item which we have here so now let's work on actually saving the to do inside this to do list so we want to make this particular save whenever the add button is clicked and whenever the add button is clicked, the form is going to be submitted. Therefore, we will go ahead and add an on submit on this form. So I would say on submit. And whenever the form is being submitted, we want to execute a certain function. So let's say the name of that function is handle submit. So I'll simply pass in handle submit here. And just as we have created this handle change to handle the input field, in order to handle the submission as well, we'll make use of handle submit. So I would say const handle submit. This is also going to be an arrow function with an event. So I'll say event. And here the very first thing which we need to do is that whenever we go ahead and type something in and when I click on add, as you can see, the page actually refreshes and we want to prevent that refreshing of the web page. And therefore, in order to prevent that particular refreshing, I'll simply go ahead and type in event dot prevent default. And this actually prevents the default behavior of page refresh. So now once we add that, if we go back here, if I type something in and if I click on add, as you can see, the page does not refresh. And that's exactly what we want. So once that thing is done, now let's move on to our main business and that is to add the individual to-do item to this to-do list. So in order to do that, first of all, let's understand how we set the state variables which we have here. So whenever you have to set state, what we do is that we make use of the function which comes along with it. So for example, in order to set the to-do item, we made use of the set to-do function and then we have made the set to do to set the state of this event.target.value. So that means you could actually set the value of this array, which is nothing but the to-do list array to any input which is being entered. However, the problem with this is that we want to save multiple items inside this to-do list. So in order to do that, we will actually create a temporary array right up over here. And let's name that temporary array as temp list. So I would say let temp list, let this be an array. And inside this array, I'll take whatever content which we have in our to do list. So I would say to do list. So what this does is that it takes all the contents of to do list and it will actually save them into this temporary array, which is temp list. Now what we want to do is that Along with the previous content of the to-do list, we also want to add the newly added item. So the newly added item would be inside this to-do. So now let's add that particular to-do to temp list. So I would say temp list dot push and push the newly added to-do item inside it. So now this temporary array would contain the previous to-do list as well as the newly added item as well. And now once we have this temp list array, with the element added to it, now we will set the to-do list value to this temporary list array. So here I would say set to-do list and I would set the to-do list to the temp list which we have up over here. So hopefully you guys are able to understand what's happening here. And now once that thing is done, let's console log the value of temp list and see what exactly do we get. 
So here I would say console.log and here I would simply need to log the value of the to-do list. So once that thing is done, we are good to go. So let's comment out this console log which we have here to avoid confusion. And if we go back here, hit refresh, let's add first item as dinner. If I click on add, as you can see, the to-do list is being displayed here which says dinner. If I add another task like homework, hit enter. As you can see, now we have another item homework here. If I just go ahead and say play football and if I click on add, that item would be added up over here. So this is how this logic is going to work. And the reason why we are using this template array is so that we could actually copy the to-do list, push a newly added item inside that particular temporary list, and then set the to-do list to the temporary array. And we need to do this or we need to follow this long route because we cannot directly go ahead and set the to-do list directly. Because let's see what happens in that case. So I would comment this particular thing out, except for the console log. And if I directly try to go ahead and if I directly try to say something like, uh, let's say set to do list. And if I try to set the value of the to do list to nothing but the to do item, let's see what would happen. In that case, what would happen is that if I just uh, go ahead and add item like lunch, if I add that, as you can see, this is going to be empty. And if I just add another item here as dinner, as you can see, it will actually print up the first item which is lunch and right now lunch would actually be stored inside that specific to-do list and now if i change it to play if i click on add as you can see only one item at a time would be added to this specific to-do list array and henceforth we have to make use of this temporary list to set the value of the to-do array so let's go ahead and delete this comment as well as this code right here and let's keep the code as it was before and now if we go back hit refresh and if you try to add some task like task one if you say task two as you can see those tasks would be added up over here and also one more thing which we would like to do here is that whenever a task is added so for example if i say task three and if i click on add this input field should be cleared so in order to do that over here, we will set the to do to blank. So here I would say set to do and set it to a blank field. So now if I go back here and if I hit refresh and if I add task one, hit enter, the task would be added here and the input field would be cleared. And if I would say task two, hit enter, task two would be added and it would be cleared from here. So that means our to do list application is now working. Now the only thing which is remaining is to go ahead and display all of these elements or the elements which we have added up over here as a list right up over here in the output. So we are going to learn how to do that in the upcoming lecture. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.